everyone, and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host, Aaron, and we will talk about my favorite job that I had as a teen into kind of like my almost 20s, Einstein Bagels. Actually, it wasn't in my 20s because I was in college when I was in there, too. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition, some awesome stories on this edition of 8 Minutes. Einstein bagels. I don't know if you've ever eaten there. I don't know if you even like it or ever heard of it. Maybe you've heard of Manhattan bagels. It's all under the same umbrella. The only difference is, is the way they make their bagels. Now, I don't know if this is a company secret, and I'm going to drop it on this because, hey, I don't work there anymore. I'm a nurse. That's all in the past, though I do want to open up my own bagel shop eventually because that is my dream. I loved Einstein bagels. I started working there when I was 16, fresh in high school. I was like, oh man, I gotta get a job. I gotta make some money. Cause hey man, the ladies like money. They like to go out. So me and my friend Mike, I'm gonna have to tell you a little beginning story. We we're hanging at his house. His mom comes in and his mom's like, hey guys, what are you doing? And we're like, ah, oh, we're just chilling. She's like, you know what? I think it's time for you guys to get some jobs. So she said, get in the car. And she took us over to IHOP and dropped us off at IHOP and we had to fill out applications and she's like, don't come back until you get a job. <laughs> so me and Mike, we could like walk down the path. We went into like a, a shop, right? Um, we put in some applications and then we made our rounds and then we went into Einstein Bagels. Well, going into Einstein Bagels was great because my friend from like childhood, we were actually sure more of my brother's friend, Shivani worked there and I love Shivani. I still love her to this day. And she basically put in a good word and got me a job at Einstein Bagels. When I got hired, I said, my buddy applied here too. And bada boom, bada bing, bada bam, pow. Mike got a job at Einstein Bagels at well. So now you got me, Mike, Shivani working at Einstein Bagels under the greatest manager of all time, Monica. Monica was awesome. She was like a second mother, more of an older sister. She would get us French fries from across the street at McDonald's. We'd help change her tire. You know, more or less, maybe we were her parents, but Monica was great and I loved Einstein Bagels. We had a class of characters. We had Benny, we called him Benny the Bum. He always came and said, hey, can I get a cup of coffee? And now we would give him a cup of coffee, but then he would sit down and he did reek a little bit. So some of the customers wouldn't like to come in or sit near him. So we'd have to shoo him out, but we let him sit, have a cup of coffee, give him a bagel and cream cheese. It was sweet. And let me tell you, those bagels were so delicious, so delicious. I had a past job at Famous Deli. They had bagels there and they sucked. And then I went to Einstein Bagels and they blew my mind. We had cranberry bagels. We had chocolate chip bagels. We had cinnamon raisin bagels and everything bagels. Poppy, sesame. I could go on for days. Actually, I think we only had 13 varieties. But we had muffins that were so delicious with the crystal caramelization on top. <gasps> we had bagel dogs. Mm, mm, mm. We had egg sandwiches, we had paninis, we had all this great food and it was delicious. So uh, yeah, Einstein Big was great. I started off in the washing and dishing area. I would clean dishes and scrub them off. And then I moved my way up to the front line making sandwiches. And then I started becoming a register boy. After I made the sandwiches, I'd ring people up. And I love talking to so many people. I used to have everyone come in who were my friends. I had uh, my friend Kim's uh, dad and stepmom come in. I love them. They were great, great people. Always a great bunch. I'm Kim, if you're watching this, I miss you too. Um, I had my dad and mom always came in. Uh, you know, I had friends who, you know, Mike's mom used to come in, Smet's parents used to come in. And I'd always, at the end of the day, when we were gonna have to throw out bagels, I'd put these motherfuckers in a bag. I'm not going to bleep that out because I said it real quick, but I put them all in a bag. I bring them all to my friends. or grab some cream cheeses and we'd have a bagel and cream cheese party. None of my friends ever went hungry for any of the days that we worked at Einstein Bagels with me and Mike. And it was just so much fun. I got to learn so many things. I had a lot of responsibility when I got promoted to a manager. I had to make sure that everybody was doing what they had to do. I had to order things. I used to have to go in the back room. Uh, and count all the bagels and see what we had to order, all the milk products. It was fantastic. I love the responsibility and it made me feel uh, like a productive member of society as I would feed people and they would pay me a monetary value for it. So it was good. 
and we had a lot of classic fights. We had a lot of order fights in the back, uh, me and Mike. Uh, one time I accidentally threw a rag and it hit a ladder and the ladder hit him in the head. That, that, was, that was kind of bad. Uh, we had Carol. Carol was a character. We had two Carols actually, and they would always be in the back and they would be the preppers who would put like the chicken and stuff together. So when we made the sandwiches, everything was already pre-prepared and we just pow, throw them right in. So after a couple years of working there, I think it was like one or two years, um, my buddy Allie, she started working there. It was so much better. It was just cool, the dynamics. And then later on, actually her brother started working here, Jared. And Jared was a cool character too. You know, you don't, you don't find a lot of cool characters when you're working, but these people were great. Uh, I had uh, Dante, who was my manager. He was freaking crazy. He had like this hoopty. He would drive us around. I think one time he told Mike he was going to give him a ride home and then drop them off in Frankfurt and just like rolled out. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy, just crazy characters. Um, I, of course, uh, I have to mention Nicole. Nicole was amazing. I love her. We still talk to today. She's doing so well in her life. We used to chill around her and uh, D, D, her real name was Deandra. And they were a comical crew, so it was like her and Deandra, me and Mike. It, it was just a blast. I would come in every day at like 4:30 in the morning, and I would bake bagels. And here's the little secret: Manhattan bagels boils through bagels. What? And at Einstein bagels, we had a proofer. You put them in for like 15 minutes. They spin around, basically like uh, defrosting your bagels from the uh, freezer, because of course we freeze our bagels. And then we put them in the oven, two rounds, 15 minutes. Those bad boys came out nice and fresh. Anybody who came in, I made you the best sandwich that you could ever possibly want. And then, you know, we had this characters who we really didn't like. We had these two people called, we called them mom and pop. Um, they were assholes. And I'm sure hopefully by this time they might, you know, have passed on. And granted, I did not like them at all. They would steal coffee thinking it was free and tell me they paid for it. And one day I casually asked them if they paid for their coffee because, you know, as a manager, I felt it was my responsibility if my employees are telling me that they're taking stuff without paying, that I should confront them. So I confronted them. The only time I've ever confronted a customer for the right thing, they complain to the management at the higher ups, I guess at NOAA Corporation. And then the asshole who was working there at the time, the guy who didn't like men at all because he was a jerk and a piece of trash he fired me but monica said eh, eh, eh. we're not gonna fire him we're not gonna let him go and i worked there for you know, like another couple you know two three years and all of a sudden one day she came in she was crying and she said aaron unfortunately we're gonna have to let you go and but at that time i was graduating from college and it was time for me to move on it was time for me to move on from a nine dollar job to a big boy job at being an EMT, getting paid $10.75. Because when you graduate college with a sociology degree and a religion degree, uh, the job market's pretty bare unless you wanna be a religious teacher or go into social work. And they were two things I really did not wanna do at the time. But it was a fun time and a great time and I think I've ran out of time. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I don't really care if you really liked my story because I know I didn't and it was fun. I will see you later and maybe we'll open up a Funk Pop next time. Bye.